All right, everyone, here we go. Um, try to do the review a little bit earlier today because I always end up doing it late. And by the time it uploads to you guys, it's like midnight, I'm sleeping. Um, so here we go. We got Master Roshi. Um, this is my favorite from the Dragon Ball collection line uh, just because all the stuff that's going on with them. Um, so I'll give you guys a 360 uh, view. Alright, um, let's get a little closer to the figure. Um, now, one thing I love about this, this is I believe this is the only figure in the line that actually comes with a removable part, which is his glasses. <laughs> Look! <laughs> That's so cool. You can have it in a way, so he's like, you see that? So you can do it like that. You can do it fully on. It's so cool. I love that. I want to take his glasses off. Look at his, look at his little glasses. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I'll put those right there. Um, I have, uh, I've, let me see. Yeah, I mean, paint job's great on this figure. The only complaint I have, like I do with the rest, is just a seam. I wish it would have been a little bit more seamless right here but when I'm viewing it in my collection and there's a little seam behind the jawline I said I am nitpicking guys just because these figures are articulated so what else can I nitpick right um, paint job is great I love the detail in the shell like you could tell it's you know it's aged or damaged or been through some stuff but it's just it's uh I love all the texture it has to the shell you know um, let's see here pretty good job with the paint job you know when something's mass produced like this figure and all my other PVCs it's you know you're gonna have quality control issues you're gonna have uh, situations where maybe the seams not the best or the paint jobs a little off but that's just that's fine with that I don't mind imperfections because it's mass produced you know even uh, if it's handmade I don't mind imperfections so nothing's perfect you can there's no figure out there that's perfect 100%. Even these um, officially licensed statues that are by Sume and um, what else other line? Soul, uh, Soul Wing and Ryu Studio. But there are um, no, no figure is perfect. Some, if you look deep enough, you're going to have some kind of flaw or issue of perfection. Um, just like the rest, this guy can come off the stand. I will eventually get a tripod so I can actually... Uh, so I can actually start taking these off the stands or just review other figures better for you guys. That's his little, you know, the little copyright from Ben Presto. Um, this one was 2016 like the rest. Yeah, they all came out 2016, seems like. I, you know, I, I did see a screenshot like a, a year ago about Oolong with, um, it was Oolong and he had the pair of panties he had on from the first wish he made. I don't know what happened to that figure if they just decided not to do it, but we need more figures in this line. I really love the way they are. They're small. They're excellent quality. I would love a Grandpa Gohan like this. You know, there's a lot of Grandpa Gohans out there, like, you know, um, the soft Fubi ones and the other vinyl ones, but I want a Grandpa Gohan in this line, you know? Um, but, because uh, Grandpa Gohan's short and cute, you know, kind of like Master Roshi. I don't, the only things I think can't go in this line are like taller figures or taller characters like Yamcha. You can get Poir in here, but what's the point without Yamcha? You can, um, who else can go in here? You can't do an Ox King in here unless the figure's going to be big. I mean, because these are, you know, these are for the most part pretty much scaled. You know, if you, um, if you compare them, they're all pretty much scaled uh, to size. I mean, Chi Chi's a little taller than Goku like it should be. Krillin and Goku about the same height at this time. Oolong is about the same height. You know, so it's a cute line, but they could definitely fit. I would love them to do that. Oolong with the panties on his head and also maybe a Grandpa Gohan to go with him. Um, 
trying to think of any other characters about the same height that can also go on this line. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm not sure anyone that's the same height. It would be shorter or something. But um, anyway, that's going to be the review for today. I'm trying to shorten the review for you guys. I don't... You guys probably aren't watching them all the way through because I'm talk too much. So, uh, but that's a review on this guy. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going... I don't have the Goku with the red gi. I have it on pre-order right now from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I can get it right now, but, um, like from eBay for like 40 bucks, but I'd rather not spend an extra 15 bucks. I don't mind being patient. Like I said, guys, I've been collecting for 20 years and I don't have a collection like Richie Shia because I don't go hard every, you know, every, every day of, you know, <laughs> the, you know, for what he's done. I think it's, so it's been like seven years now, I think. I think he started since he was like 2015 or 14. So it's been about... I want to say six or seven years for Richie collecting. And guys, don't get um, discouraged or anything with collecting. Collecting is fun. It's not supposed to be a race, okay? Take your time with collecting, please. It's fun. I'm telling you, Dragon Ball is going to keep pushing out figures and figures and figures. So don't be like, oh, I got to get them all. I mean, that's not going to happen. But you know what? A guy, a person could dream, right? Uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, guys, take it slow and steady with the collecting. Uh, like I said, I only have a fraction of what Richie has, and I've been collecting for 20 years. So if you see something too crazy in price, don't go for it. Don't. I mean, you can. I mean, if you're filthy rich, you got excess money, and you don't have want to do anything else with it, then go ahead, spend. But honestly, I'd rather just take a break sometimes, you know, just rather go treat myself. I'd, you know, I collect... Uh, you know, not I don't collect aggressively. I collect I, when I see a deal, I get it. If I don't see a deal, I don't get it. It's not the end of the world. You know, I rather take my family out somewhere nice to eat or go on a vacation or something. You know, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not a dedicated collector. I think I am. I just think that, you know, slow and steady wins the race, and there's no point in you know going crazy extreme. You know, unless you have the funds. Like I said, we don't know. I know a lot of collectors out there that just ridiculous that don't that aren't public that don't go on um grew up with a friend and uh, he has a very big collection uh dragon ball bigger than mine and i have a pretty decent sized one but he's not even on dragon ball collectors he's not even you know on youtube or anything like that so they're all different kind of collectors out there the silent ones the ones that go big um but uh, I just want to say that just take your time with this, guys. I see a lot of people on line right now talking about they want to use their stimulus for, you know, to, the figures. And I mean, guys, if you have if it's excess money, you don't need to use on anything else. Sure, go for it, you know. But you know, don't go crazy. Like I'm using my tax money to use this. I'm like, just slow down. You're not gonna. You're not able to compete with the toys and figures or statues they're pu pu pushing out. You're just not. Just don't even bother trying to compete with getting everything of everything. It's not gonna work. It's just not. And the reality is that that figure you bought ten years ago is gonna be outclassed by something coming out soon or within the next five years. You know, by a better version. So just relax. You know, just chill, guys. Um, let's see. That's it for this review. Um, if you guys like my little rants, like what I just did about collecting and blah, 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 then let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. I'll just, I can just do straight up reviews, just like a two minute, three minute video max, like some screen, some shots and all this stuff and then done. You know, I could do that too. Um, but I just like to talk. So, um, <laughs> I know I'm a monster. Uh, but no, if you seriously, if you guys are annoyed or don't like my ranting or talking, just let me know. Um, I'm not here to annoy people. I'm here to hopefully get you guys to like these videos and actually enjoy the videos. You know, if I'm going on too long to the point where it's not enjoyable, please let me know because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring collectors together like Richie is and all the other guys. And I just figured it's something I can post every day on the page, you know, um, and it's just fun to do, you know. Um, also, I just noticed the, um, the, the, I forgot, I usually do this for you guys. The Little Van Presto logo is going to be right there on his backside, right where his neck is, whereas he's hunched over. 
So uh, if you guys believe you got a fake figure or a bootleg figure, just check right there, okay? Bootlegs aren't supposed to do things like that. Like, I mean, I've I've seen some bootlegs do some questionable stuff that they're not supposed to do, but that's where it's supposed to be. Uh, I don't have the box, but like I said, the box, make sure you have the toy animation logo on it, okay, guys? Um, I mean, the toy animation sticker. Um, not all boxes have it. Some have it like a, uh, like a stamped on there kind of thing, but... Um, but just to make sure it's official. If you have any questions, send me a screenshot or a picture of what you're trying to buy and I can help you out uh, to make sure that you're buying a legit uh, product. But, alright guys, that's going to be it. Uh, have a great day. Be safe. And um, uh, until next time. Bye.